Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make a Piston Loader X Star game series. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can set up these billboard GUIs for displaying the health of the coin as well as uh, adding a nice pet animation using sine waves. With that being said, let's start. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have ac access to the entire project file, including the map, the scripts and everything, it also comes with an asset pack. All of these are made by my friend Wolazi1. Follow him on Twitter at Wolazi1. Everything is available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Alright, so to start with, what I'm going to do is make a health GUI for all of our coins. So what I'm going to do is choose a random uh, coin file. So I'm going to choose this one, for example. And what I'm going to do is add a billboard GUI. After adding the billboard GUI, I'm going to change its size to 5, 0, 5, 0. And what I'm going to do now is add a, rename this to health. Um, health, sorry. Let me check if I'm still recording. Yes. Okay, so health. And I'm going to add a frame, and this is going to be called background. And the size of this is going to be set to uh, 1, 0, 0 0.1, 0. zero. Okay, so this is good, but I think I want it to be smaller, so 0 0.7. And then I'm going to change this to 0 0.2, 0 0.13, 1, 2. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is add a UI corner to this, and I'm going to ch change the corner radius to 0, 0 0.1, or 0, 0 0.2. Oh, why is this not working? Okay, okay, uh, 0 0.2. 0.3 I think this looks pretty good now what I'm going to do is center this so what I'm going to do to, that, to do that is set the anchor point to 0.5 and the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 that will just center it but as you can see the y-axis is kind of messed up so I'm going to change it to 0 or maybe 0. Point, I don't know maybe 0. 0.1 okay that looks pretty good now I'm going to add another, I'm going to duplicate this background uh, frame and I will put it inside of the background and I'm going to call this to bar. And I'm going to change its size to 1, 0, 1, 0. And the position to 0, 0, 0, 0. And then change the anchor point to 0. And now I'm going to change the color, the background color of this to something like a nice blue color and I'm going to change its size just so that we can see what's happening on the Y on the X to 0 0.3 okay this is pretty good now I'm going to add inside of the background frame I'm going to add a text label now this is going to be the text label where we are going to display how, how much uh, HP the coin has so i'm going to rename this to uh health display label and i'm going to change the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero text scale property true and okay why is the color why are the colors messed up okay anyways uh, i'm going to change the background transparency to one the text uh Okay, now I change the font first to Fredoka one, because I think it looks pretty good. And then I will just... Okay, why is, why is it affected by the lighting? Okay, that's kind of weird. Now I'm going to change the text uh, color 3 to full white. I'm going to add a text stroke, a UI stroke. And the, the thickness will be something like that. And I'm going to change the text to, for example, 100 out of 100. And I'm going to change the Z index to uh, 3. So that it's always above everything. Now what I'm going to do is change the, is change my, okay, so I have this, I don't know why it's affected by lighting, honestly. Oh, it's because always on top. Okay, now it should work. Select your health, billboard GUI and check always on top and that should fix it. Now, what I'm going to do is control X this and paste it inside all of our, all of our um, 
drops. So I'm just going to do this, paste it all inside of this, and now it works. It looks pretty good. Now that we've made our GUIs, what I'm going to do is make it so that, because right now, okay, so if you join the game, whenever we click on something, it's, I don't know, it's just, the pad is very, okay, why can't I click stuff now? Oh, I can. Okay, it's the billboard, okay, the billboard GUI isn't doing anything. If I, it's kind of stiff if I click on this, you see? It's, we need to, we need to animate the pad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a module inside of the client modules. Uh, I'll add a good, a nice module script. I'm going to rename it to animate attachments. And what I'm going to do in here is create some references. So local, maybe tween service. We might need that service. Go to game, call and get service, tween service. And then we're going to need a uh, Workspace service local workspace is equal to game call get service workspace and then I'm going to drop down and okay I'm gonna do local local drops is equal to works to workspace call if child drops and then what I'm going to do is local okay I think that's good enough I'm going to do function module dot okay I'm going to just do lo do local function um, animate what I'll do is for underscore comma okay instead of doing this I'm going to get run service in here local run service is equal to game call get service run service and in here I'm going to do uh, run service dot render steps call connect function and what we're gonna do is for underscore comma comma coin pile so come up maybe drop in pairs drops on get children do i'm gonna do for okay so local attachment attachment is equal to drop on find first child okay attachment dot primary part uh, is equal to drop dot primary part on find first child attachment and here we're gonna do if attachment then. So if we do find that attachment, what we're gonna do is animate it. So attachment dot position. I'm going to do local local position is equal to. I'm going to have that set to vector three dot new zero comma math dot sign uh maybe time. We're gonna have a nice little sine wave. Uh time multiplied by three. I'm going to divide the whole thing by two comma zero and Attachment dot position is equal to position. Okay, good. Now I'm going to require this module for it to initiate. So in, I'm going to enter our client script. And what I'm going to do is local amount of script of modules is equal to. And right now we only have one. So one. And local function initialize. And I'm just going to do for underscore comma module in pairs in pairs script going with the child client modules calling get children do require module. Now what I'm going to do here is uh, repeat wait repeat task dot wait until okay one until amount of until okay uh, script dot parent calling with just copy this call with this. And we're gonna do a hashtag in here. So we're gonna get the length of this folder on get children. Don't forget about this. So if okay, by the way, this just returns how many items are inside, how many instances are inside the folder. So I'm gonna check. Okay, I'm going to wait until I'm gonna repeat on waiting until this number is equal equal to amount of modules. Then I'm going to call the initialize function. Okay, now if you play the game, that should hopefully work. And it should look quite smooth, I think. Okay, I'm going to click on one of these. I'm going to wait for them to initialize. Okay, good. Now I'm going to click on these. 
Because as you can see, they do bounce around. But as you can see, the attachment position is now messed up. So let's check why this is happening. I'm just going to do this. To select my attachment. As you can see, this is what's happening. And I think I know why. Okay. I'm going to do in here. Here's what you got to do. got to do attachment.position.x. And in here, attachment.position.z. And now if you play the game, that should look quite good. So I'm going to play the game. Click on some of these when they initialize. Okay, I'm going to click on a compile. And as you can see now, my pet is bouncing. But as you can see, it's doing this. So to fix that, all I'm, go all I'm going to do is... Okay. First of all, I'm going to do ABS. So math or abs to this and let's see what that does let's wait okay now i'm going to click on this okay same thing got to fix this i have an idea okay I'm going to do 3 plus. Let's see what this does. Gotta lower the time wait for... Okay. For when this will initialize. So let's wait. Click. Alright, that kind of works. But we gotta make this look like an attack animation. So I'm going to change this to 2. I'm going to uh, make this wave a bit a bit bigger by lowering this, so 1.5. I'm going to make it a bit faster, so 10. And let's see what that does. Okay. So I'm going to wait. Oh, I forgot to change this. I forgot to change the wait time for this because this this is wasting your time. So this is a, a bit better. But I want to make the wave a bit smaller, so I'm just going to remove this. Now let's see what that does. And I forgot to change that again. Okay. So I think this is a lot better. But as you can see, the wave should be a bit bigger. So I'm going to do... I'm going to put this in parentheses, and I'm going to multiply this by 3. So, or 2. So that should be 2 times bigger. And I forgot to change that again, which I'm going to do right now, so that I don't forget about this again. Okay, I'm going to go to the main server script. I'm going to just do... Wait, 2 seconds. Then we set up this. By the way, we'll fix this. So I'm going to always be like this, because this is not how you do it. I'm going to wait a bit. Click on this. As you can see, this is a lot better and they look like they're actually attacking. But now we need to add a little bit of a rotation to this. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to double click it so that the, the pet goes back. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select this attachment. And now what I want to do is go to my pet. If I can find it. Um, it's pets. Player sprung. And I want to go to this align position and align orientation. I want to check rigidity enabled. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Maybe I need to do that from the server. Pets, players prog, green pet. And just check both of these. So rigidity enabled, true. And as you can see now, it's going with the attachment, which is exactly what we need. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to go to my uh, server modules, pet module. And what I'm going to do is instead of doing this, instead of changing the responsiveness and stuff, all I need to do is check rigidity enabled tree and just comment out these two lines. Okay, now that should look a bit better. Okay, send pet gets sent very fast, and now it 
actually follows the thing properly. So now what I'm going to do is lower the size of the sine wave. So I'm just going to put this. And now we'll play the game. And hopefully that will be better. Okay, that's a lot better. But I think the wave should be a bit smaller. So divided by two, two times smaller. Now we need to change the orientation of the attachment. I'm pretty sure that's a property. 100% sure it is. Okay, it is. So we're going to change the orientation on the... Okay, let's do that. Copy this. Put it here and change it to orientation. And just put it to vector3.new x... Okay, the Y, I don't think that's the... Okay, let's check. Let's rotate this. So the Y, okay, we need to rotate it on the X first. Which I think will look pretty good. So I'm just going to copy this, put it in here. Remove this too. And change this to attachment.position. Uh, y. Let's just do this. And then do attachment orientation orientation equal to orientation now if you play the game that should look pretty good all right i'm just gonna wait a bit go click this and is it changing the orientation no let's double check i'm just gonna select this click it again I'm going to go to here attachment orientation it is changing, but it's very, very, very slight. So we're going to multiply that by... Well, I don't know, maybe by... 5. Maybe that will be visible. Not entirely sure. Okay, let's click this. And now the rotation is a bit more visible, which is a good thing. I'm going to make it even bigger, so maybe 10. And now I want to also do this on the Z. So just do that on the Z too. And that might look pretty good. So let's just click this. And as you can see, the, the pet looks like he's attacking this, which is pretty cool. Okay, I like that. I think I do. Let's try with the chest. Okay, the rotation is not set properly for the chest, but I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so that looks pretty decent. Now, I want to make the pet go back and forth. Let's do that. Guess what? Sine wave again. Okay, so just copy that. Copy this, or actually copy this. And just put it in, in the Z. We need to make this smaller though, so just multiply it by. Just, I think you might be better off dividing it, or maybe just okay, just don't do anything to it. Let's see how that looks. By the way, you can mess around with the speed. By the way, the speed is this. Okay, so the speed is this. How how much you multiply the time with, and the amplitude is how much you multiply the entire sine wave with. Okay, let's see. Okay, it does work, it does work. But as you can see how it's doing that, we don't want that. And to fix it, I think all we need to do is add four to this. So four plus this, that should work. Okay, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot cleaner and a lot better. I love this. All right. So, I think this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.